Hiya. Right, back to it. Can you tell us what are the similarities between you and Jack? We both got a massive passion for football, but we also look on the education side. Who's better, you or Jack? Me. Why? Because, I don't know, I, I just am. Because I, I, I've always started outfield and never in goal. What's the difference between the way you play and how you play? Well, Jack, she plays more... I'd say defensive, like she's quite, a, she's more of a rebound player. So like Dylan or Jamie would pass back to her, but Lena, me, is more of a, an attacking player, and she'll always go forward, see the wings, and keep running. Have you developed in the two series? Well, I think when Jack started, well, when I started as Jack, she was kind of still a bit just normal, I guess. She wasn't really fighting for her place as such. But then, as that series went on you could see that she was more determined to prove to Hansard her point and her being able to play for the boys' team. And then when she did, she, over the course of the other two series, she was like, right, so I've got in the team, now I need to show them that my actual position is centre midfield. And I think she demonstrated that really well with, with the persevering side. Who are your personal football heroes? That's a tough one. I think Rashford is probably one of mine because he's a young player, and he, he's, he's just on it. Like he went up straight to the first team and just owned it. And he's from, he's from his hometown as well. So I think it just worked out perfectly for him. And on the girls game, Jordan Nobbs is probably one of my favourites because I met her personally and I've met her twice now. And the first time was when I first met her and the second time she remembered me. So that was always that kind of bond that she actually remembered me. And looking back at some of the videos I've seen of her playing football, like. She's a proper hard worker and when the team's a bit low, she builds them up again and I just think he's a really good team player. Is it true? You met the Lionesses? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I was wicked, so we just went there to do a regular scene just at St George's Park with England women's teams, no biggie. And then I just played, like, I pretty much had a little session with them. Like, it was wicked as well and, like, they were just so easy going. They were just talking to me like I was just a person on the street that was just so nice and it was just really good atmosphere. So, good times ahead for England's women's football, yeah? Yeah, 100%. It's just, it's just going to keep going up, to be honest. So, which World Cup will you be playing in? Um, wait. So, there's a World Cup... 2000... I think it's 2024. I've probably got that wrong. Wait, 2014 World Cup. But the women's was last year, wasn't it? So, four years time, 21... Yep, yeah, in 2021, I'll be playing for England in the World Cup. And which position? Either striker or centre midfield. And what will be your club's team? Arsenal. What? Not City? Mm, I forgot about City. It'll be between Arsenal and City. Oh, no. Not scrap Arsenal. Um, Man City or Chelsea. Because they're both, like, they're women's teams that are solid. Fully solid. Yeah, but the Arsenal ladies are good. They're still solid, like, like I said, Jordan Nobson on that team and Alex Scott was as well on their bowlers. But if you see now Man City play, it's just... Tell us about your worst rejection, Lynette, and how it affected you. I usually go like school football or something like that, I can't remember. But I think the coach wasn't happy with how I was at training, but they, I think they got it mixed up and they didn't let me start in the game and I didn't play much of the game, to be honest. And... That, that kind of hurt me as such because usually I'm always working proper hard at training and I, I usually start because of it. But then the one time that I like kind of messed about in training, like it did have an impact on the game and I didn't play as much of the game as a one two two. So that's why, you, to be honest, I've wor I work hard in most of the training sessions I go to now because you never know what the game's going to be like.